Hey y'all, it's the Care Part Truth Love United.com. What's going on? If you are new here, welcome to the family. Please make sure you hit the subscribe button. Also, make sure you hit the notification bell. So every time I post a new video, you will see it. If you are coming back, hey boo, what's going on? What's good? What's going on? What's popping? So this one's gonna be real short. Well, I feel like I say that every time, and then it don't be so. We're gonna go, we're gonna do the intro, then we'll come back. So we're gonna see. She knows exactly what she wants And she knows exactly what she deserves And it makes them boys nervous she All Right, so, like I said, I think this one might be short, we'll see But this one today is about the importance of working life balance So, we live in a hustler, go get them sleep is the cousin of death society right we're very just go 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 and we have to and there's nothing well i'm not gonna say there's nothing wrong with that because you that's the whole reason of this video you have to have a balance my early 20s i worked like a crazy person but i didn't really have much to show for it well i should say now i don't have much to show for it because I don't have much to show for it now because back then I don't really think I was doing it with a purpose in mind. I was just kind of doing it because that's what you do. Like you work and you get money. Like that's what you do. Now that I've gotten older, I've realized that balance when it comes to your personal life and your career or your work life is so important. These companies nowadays, and I'm not talking about my co the company that I work for specifically, but in general, these companies will work you to death. They will run you ragged if you allow them to. And the problem is, you know, a lot of our grandparents or our older people or older people in our lives, they'll tell you, you know, you stay with a company 30, 40, 50 years and you um, retire from that and this and this and that. The problem is that's not really, a th I'm not going to say retirement isn't a thing anymore, but I will say, if y'all hear a tapping, I'm sorry. My foot is trying to fall asleep, so I'm trying to, like, make it not. Because, you know, I hate that feeling. Y'all know that prinkly feeling? Ugh, I hate that. Anyway, you can't... There are jobs that, you know, our grandparents are used to, you know, you stay with a company for however many years, and you you retire with a pension and all of these things. The problem is that a lot of companies, to me, don't really seem to have that mentality anymore. Um, I believe the same level of loyalty and energy a company gives you is what you need to give back period so if this company is acting like you interchangeable and acting like they can drop you with no and mind you i live in ohio ohio is an at will state at will higher state what that means is basically they can fire you for whatever they want whatever they whatever's under the sun now you can't fight it and all of that type of stuff but in general like there's there there doesn't have to be a real reason to fire you it could just be we don't need you no more and get done you know and be done with you so with that being said i especially as i've gotten older i have the energy like i said whatever energy you give me is the energy i'm gonna give you when you act like it's easy to replace me and you can find another me in 2.5 seconds guess what i'm staying with my head on swivel and looking for another job because you don't want to be somewhere that makes you feel like oh well you're just number whatever 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 I understand the older people in our lives wanting us to have stability and wanting us to have jobs and you know they want to know that when something happens to them they'll be able to take care of ourselves and I completely can rock with that thought process I understand I get that no problem but what they don't understand is one times have changed and not just in the literal like it's been years but just the way life goes has changed technology is the best it's ever been there are plenty of children we have plenty of examples of children who are making careers on the internet it's four and five year olds getting checks from just reviewing toys on youtube like there are plenty of things you can do to make money that does not require the traditional job for us anymore and i feel like it's hurting it a little bit because there are so many other avenues to make money so if anything these jobs need to be marketing themselves in a way that would make people want to work for them that would make people want to sell their product you know what i'm saying so like i said the same energy they put out into the world they need to be able to be willing to give back i'm blessed to where the job the, the company that i work for for the most part is really huge into work-life balance and i haven't always had that i there have been times when i have worked six seven days a week open and close or whatever you know like i've worked crazy hours and 
in the end, it didn't serve me well. So now that I'm older, it's like, no, I'm going to take this time. No, I'm going to go on vacation. No, I'm going to take this PTO and hang out with my family. No, I'm going to take this day off and hang with my friends. No, I'm going to do like I'm going to have a life. I want to have memories. My early 20s, there are plenty of things that I missed because I was working and I've promised myself like as I got older that that just wouldn't be a thing anymore so I understand being on your grind I understand getting to your bag I understand getting your money all of that but your mental health is important feel it appreciate it and validate it in your work is important I believe you have to have those feelings about yourself don't get me wrong like and if you know you a trash employee like be keep it a buck with yourself you know what I'm saying like if you know you trash don't be trash but I know that I'm a bomb employee, you know what I'm saying? Like, any job would be blessed to have me a part of their crew because I just make you better, you know what I'm saying? And the energy that I give, the expertise that I bring, like, my work history, like, all the things that I bring to the table, I know what position that puts me in. So, at this point in my life, I know that I can go, and, 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 this, and I say this humbly, but I believe I can go to just about anywhere and I'll be okay. I, I can figure it out and I can do what I need to do because I'm good at what I do. I'm good at people, surprisingly. I'm good at people. So at the end of the day, I think that you need to make sure that all that energy you put into your job, make sure you put that into your personal life. If you desire to have your own business, the same energy you put into your nine to five, you need to be putting into your five to nine. Like if you want to have your own clothing company, you need to be putting that same energy in. If you want to have whatever like if you want to have a family eventually somebody who might be i don't know <laughs> you have to put the same energy in and you can't use your job as an excuse now there's nothing like i said there's nothing wrong with wanting to set up for your future definitely something that i'm about and something that i'm on but i also want to make sure that i have enough time to i i set enough a set aside a certain amount of time so when that person comes along that i would like to do this thing called life with you know, I have the things established that I want and I already have some things established. So like me and this person, me and him can work on it together. You know what I'm saying? So work life balance is huge. It's important. Don't let nobody make you feel like you're crazy for one off day. Your check ain't that important. It's just not. Your mental health is super important and never let somebody make you feel like, oh, you need this job. No. I'm a firm believer in like if God brought me this, he could bring me something else. And if he took this away, that means he got something better for me. And that's a and that's scary. And don't get me like I, I stay with a job. So I'm not saying like I'm not saying that lightly. Like I, I do my best to stay with a job just because I am fearful of not having one. But I'm not going to just take any old job. No. It has to be something that's willing to work with me halfway or willing to um I'm willing to to as a stepping stone to get somewhere else so we'll see how it goes so if you've gotten this far I appreciate you watching thank you make sure you check out the website truthandloveunited.com put it in the comments let me know like what are some things that y'all do on your off time like to help with y'all work-life balance like yeah let me know some of the things that y'all like to do on your, on your work-life balance do you have work-life balance if you don't what are some of the reasons that you don't and again if you are working towards your goal or aspiration that i completely can rock with like i don't have a problem with that but i'm saying when you're putting all that energy into a job that again if you drop dead today they'll have somebody who to replace you by monday trust and believe so like I said, I hope you like this video. Make sure you hit up the website, truthandloveunited.com. And like I always say, as long as you're running your race at God's pace, you're exactly where you're supposed to be. Bye. You know that a girl can make everything you got a little better. She can change your world for the better.